in my office uh, access to this database, which is also uh, available right here. Um, Kent, uh, am I going to have a problem going right into the computer contributor search system? No, this would be set up uh, for uh, anyone who came in, or if they had a personal terminal, um, they can actually hook into our database as well from their own office, from their home, and. Uh, um, Okay. We've got the data arranged in various years, so from here you can select what you'd like. Okay, so I'm going to go into the 1992 cycle. It goes uh, in uh, increments of two years, 89, 90, 91, 92. So I'm going to go into 92. Okay, and then essentially it takes a minute to find its way into this particular database. The databases are separated by two-year cycles uh, because that's how our election system operates. Uh, members of the House of Representatives are elected every two years. Every two years there is a Senate election. Um, senators, of course, serve for six-year terms, so only one-third of them run for re-election every two years. But that's how they divide the data in the, in the computer database. The records uh, here go back to 1972 when the law was first started, uh, and the computerization took place uh, in 1978. So from 78 on, uh, we have a large mass of data, which uh, reporters and the public can tap. Uh, the computerized data, we've, we've entered it ourselves, uh, as in this case, individual contributors who give more than $200. Uh, and if they've listed an occupation, principal place of business, we've listed that as well. Uh, and done some software work, which permit people to search for what they're interested in. If they're looking for individual names because they've been appointed to something, or they're a certain company or labor group or interest group, they can search, as Glenn does regularly. Right, and so, okay, so this is the, this is the initial uh, plate, and what they note is that there are currently 1,146,860 itemized records. That means that there are one million contributions in this database uh, for us to go through.